Hi, Trish. Hi. Happy Tuesday. Hello. I figured we'd do a Tuesday night live. I've never gone live on Tuesday. What are you guys? up to hello from Long Island. Hi, Becky. I'm making my husband cook dinner too while I'm up here doing this. actually just had a full face of makeup on and I took it all off just to do this live. I've done my makeup three different times today. So I'm basically doing this just to do it and then wash it off. But what are you guys up to? Hi, Marissa. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed this say video. That was a fun video to film. I love trying new foundations. Becky, what do I wash with? So I usually use a cleansing balm. I honestly go through cleansing balms so often because that's, I take my makeup off so often, sometimes like three, four times in the day. So I usually use some type of cleansing balm. And then I usually use the CeraVe hydrating cleanser. Because if I use something super abrasive, my skin gets mad. Hope you get the Sephora squad. Thank you. I hope so too. That would be the coolest thing. Hi, Gina. Gina, are you using your giveaway stuff? Have you used anything yet? Gina won the 10K giveaway. Oh my goodness. You have three grandkids there with you. Well, I'm just happy that you were able to get on here at all. Thank you for tuning in. Ooh, you're crocheting. That sounds fun. Hello from Georgia. What part of Georgia? I was born in Georgia. Hi. Oh my gosh, Trish, you left a birthday party early to be here. <laughs> now I have to, I feel like I have to be super entertaining. So it makes it worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, Chris does do a lot of the cooking in this house. He's not lying. I'm not, that's not really my forte. Oh my gosh, Alicia, you're from Augusta. My husband is from Augusta. Oh, Gina, you're using the Makeup by Mario 
lip products, the eyeshadow palette. Oh, and the perfume. I sent Gina one of the dossier perfumes that I had a duplicate of, and I'm glad you like it. I was afraid I would choose one that maybe you wouldn't like, but I'm glad you like that one. From Michigan. It was nice enough outside. Yeah, it's it's been pretty nice here today. It's still kind of cold in North Carolina, but then I think um, this coming, the end of this week, it's supposed to be like 80 degrees here. So I'm just using some Bobby Brown corrector. <laughs> Yeah, the Say Foundation, I didn't hate it, but I don't know. I didn't just love it like I thought I was going to. Have you tried it, Trish? Hello from Atlanta. Oh, you're with your cat. I One of my cats was in here with me a little while ago before I started this and I had to kick him out because he wasn't behaving. Hi, mom. Oh, you're in Tennessee and it was nice. I'm definitely kind of ready for it to get warm. I don't want it to get hot out, but I'm kind of over the really cold weather. Hello from Boston. Hi. The Exa color corrector sells out so fast. I know. I last time I looked, it was in stock. Is it out of stock again? I checked it a few days ago on Credo, I think, and it was I think it was in stock. The say sounds too glowy. Yeah, it's um, it's extremely glowy. It's not just a little glowy. It's very, very glowy. And I know a few people were saying that they or say the company recommends not applying any like skincare underneath it because there's so much skincare in it. But that I, I never apply makeup and don't apply, apply skincare underneath. So I just feel like I'm not going to do it that way even though that's what they say. But yes, it is extremely glowy. Yes, Kelsey, I am planning to do a full face of Rare Beauty. In fact, I have been kind of accumulating the products for it. I had a lot of Rare Beauty, but not everything. And I really wanted to try like a lot of stuff. So yes, I am doing it. I'm just working on getting all the products. I'm actually kind of torn if I should wait. Uh, you know, Rare Beauty is about to release the new um, blushes. or They're not new, but the new shades. I don't know if I should wait and do the blush or wait until I get those blushes and then do the video or if I should just go ahead and do it because I already have a ton of the Rare Beauty blushes, but I know a lot of people are going to want to see the new shades. So... I don't know. So I'm mixing and I think I just did way too much. If you saw my, one of my last videos, when I used this hourglass foundation, I, a lot of you told me I needed to go get these blue pigments. So I did and I just mixed it in to the hourglass foundation to try it out. And I also mixed in the white ones, but I think, I don't know, maybe it is okay. It looked a little too light there for a second, but. Oh, you bought the Revlon foundation. I'm so glad you like it. I just love that one. I, I can't stop using it, honestly, I love it.
Ooh, over 30 and debating a career change. I say life's too short. Go for it if you want to. Okay, the Ulta color correctors. I used to own that a while ago. And I want to say I didn't love that. I think I ended up decluttering mine in one of my declutter videos. Um, unless they've like redone the formula since then. I don't know. But I feel like I didn't love them when I tried them before. Ooh, Trish, what powder foundation do you use? Oh, on Ulta, it's sold out. Yeah, check Credo because Ulta, it's been sold out on Ulta for a long time. I don't know why, but it, I hope they're bringing it back and not, um, Discontinuing Exa from Ulta. But yeah, it's been out of stock there for a while. Check Credo. Hello from South Korea. Am I excited about the Pat McGrath bronzers? Yes, I am. In fact, I'm debating. Oh, that was a lot. I'm debating on whether I will get one or not. I just, I feel like everybody is launching bronzers right now. Bronzer and blush and foundation, I guess. Um, but yes, I really want one of them. And I also kind of, I kind of want the whole collection to be honest. <sighs> but <laughs> I don't need the whole collection, but I really want it. But yes, I'm very excited about it. You haven't tried anything from Rare Beauty yet? You need to. Highly, I was gonna say highly underrated, but I guess it's not really underrated now. Did you guys see uh, Selena Gomez is now the most followed person on Instagram? Did you guys see that? I guess because of the whole uh, Haley Bieber drama. I don't really know what that's all about, but I guess that's why. My hoops, these are from Amazon. I can, they're in my storefront. I can try to put that in this live once I post it, um, but they're from Amazon. I love them. Oh, Marianne, I'm glad you were able to make the live too. I actually don't think this foundation looks too light now that I look. It's kind of hard to tell with all the lights, but. Yes, that Beauty Pie under eye corrector. So I've considered trying Beauty Pie and getting a membership for it. Um, the under eye corrector, from what I've seen, it looks like the two shades. One is super, super light, and the other one is really dark. Kind of the same thing with the Becca correctors. But I've never tried Beauty Pie. Have you tried anything from them? Oh, yeah. One is pink but a little deep. Yeah, supposed to be a dupe for the Becca one. That's what I've heard. Mac, 
Lancome Estee Lauder. I've been trying the Jane Iredale powder foundation and really liking it. I agree, Kelsey, that brand is very, I don't know what it is. It's very, I don't know, but it's definitely got something special to it. I feel like pretty much everything they come out with is good. Like they nail it. I actually just saw, um, I guess it was this last week, Nikki LaRose here on YouTube. Do you guys watch her? She did a full face of Rare Beauty, and I absolutely loved every single thing that she used in that video. Did you guys, have you guys watched her before? Oh, Tammy, I'm thinking of you. That is, I cannot imagine what you are going through. I'm glad that you could be here and that I could maybe brighten your day just a little bit, but I'm thinking for thinking of you and praying for you. You like the Beauty Pie Cream Blush, not super pigmented. Also be used for the lips. Okay, yeah, I, I've i heard not much negative about that brand, so I'm kind of curious about it. But there's, there's just so many things right now. It's crazy. You like watching Nikki too? Yeah, I love her. She's so good. So you guys, I was looking in my YouTube analytics a day or two ago and only 51% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed to my channel. So if you would check and make sure you are actually subscribed, that would be great because I've gotten a message from a few of you saying that you thought you were subscribed and then... You went to my channel and you actually weren't. And I've heard about that happening on other people's channels. So make sure you're subscribed because 51%, that means 49% are not subscribed. That's a lot. Did you guys see earlier today, Makeup by Mario, they like teased a new product that's coming on Instagram. It looks like a liquid blush to me, but I don't know. I just saw that a few hours ago. You want a jewelry and a hair video? I can definitely do that. I showed my hair in one of my trying new makeups like a week or so ago. Um, but yeah, I can do a hair and a jewelry video. So I kind of do and wear the same things over and over.
What do you guys think about um, Tuesday lives? I figured I would try this day out because I've never done a live on Tuesday before. Um, this is the FO3 from Sigma. It's actually a highlighter brush, but I use it for concealer. I never use it for highlight. But yeah, it's very good for under the eyes. Yeah, I need to do more skincare. For sure, because I get asked about that a lot. Okay. Do you guys use these, these pigments that I was talking about, these LA Girl ones? So many people told me I needed them. So I went out and got, I had the white one already, but I went to get the blue one and it was really hard to find. Those must be very, very popular. Okay, you guys like Tuesdays? So split. Some people want me to do it on the weekends because I guess people aren't as busy, but then I feel like it's fun to do it during the week at like the end of the day. So that's why I try to switch it up. Have you guys gotten anything from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty yet? I've gotten a few things, but not a ton. I got a new blush. I'm trying to open it. Okay, Tuesday is good for you. Yeah, the e.l.f. color corrector, the one in the tube with the wand. I didn't love that one. I didn't try the blue color. Um, but this, if you read the reviews, these get fantastic reviews. I haven't really seen anyone say they don't like them. So um, I feel like those are probably, that one's probably the best. Oh, you're waiting on the Morphe brush set. What day is that? I looked it up, but now I can't remember. I want to say it's the very end of the month. I got one of these. This is one of the Benefit blushes in Willa. Oh, you got the peach and lily stuff. I haven't tried much from that brand, but they, their stuff seems really popular. I actually got mine from uh, Sephora. If you don't know, Sephora matches the prices of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty for pretty much everything. So if you can't get something... At Ulta, you can usually get it at Sephora for the same price. Ooh, I like this formula. I've never tried the Benefit uh, blushes. Well, that's not true. I've tried the older formula of these, but not the new ones. You got the Smashbox Primerizer. I actually got a mini of that not that long ago, but I still have not tried it. Do you like that primer, Gina? I really, um, or I was about to say, I really like it. I haven't tried it, but I've seen a lot of people really like that one. Okay. 
The only two things I've gotten from the Ulta sale so far is the Willa blush from Benefit. And then I got one of the Urban Decay lipsticks in oat milk. Um, what is this called? The Vice lipsticks, high impact vegan lipstick. We'll use that at the end. Yeah, so I'm I'm glad that you said the same thing about the e.l.f. correctors because there are, I've seen a lot of people saying that they love those e.l.f. correctors, and I'm just very confused. Unless they got something different than I did, they they're just, they're not very good. I was so disappointed, but they just are not good. Ooh, you placed an order on Dior. What did you get from Dior? Can't find any of my brushes. I saw that Dior has um, a new foundation, but it's only available at Ulta from what I've seen. It has... I don't even remember the name of it now, but I saw that on the website. Yeah, that blush is really pretty. I agree. Have you seen the Maybelline pink concealer trend? Yes, and actually I just bought a new one of those, the Age Rewinds in pink, to try again. Here's the thing with that for me, if I put that under my eyes by itself, it just looks white and kind of gray because my under eyes are dark. So I feel like the only way that product would work for me is if I paired it with something else, like another corrector that's not so light. Um, but yeah, I've been seeing how that product is like blowing up all over the place, which is so funny because that's been around for a long time. Smashbox primer did nothing for you. That one, I think it's just supposed to be like for hydration. I feel like, where's my brow pencil? I've never, well, I've tried the Smashbox green primer before a long time ago, but that's the only one I've tried. You got one of the foundations, lip balm, lip oil. Oh my gosh, I have seen that nude, not nude, the clear lip, not, what am I saying? I can't speak. The uh, nail polish that you're talking about. I have seen that and it looks so pretty and natural. I would love to know how that is when you get it. Kind of thinking about going back to not getting my nails done for a while and doing them at home. I feel like that would be a nice thing to put on that looks really natural. Oh, and the nude dress eyeshadow. I actually have that and I have not used it. I bought it a long time ago with a gift card that I had. And... I don't know how, but it kind of got pushed to the back of my drawer and I haven't tried it yet, but it looks really pretty, that um, color story. Yeah, see, that's why I haven't tried the Beauty Pie one, because I thought, I don't know, I wish they would come out with more shades in it instead of just two. I don't know why. Seems like so many brands do not come out with enough shades in color correctors. 
I don't know why that is. That's why I feel like Bobby Brown is just the best because they're the only one that, the only brand that has so many shades. Hi, my husband is good. He is downstairs trying to keep the zoo in our house quiet for me. <laughs> And they, the animals are fine. They are just living their best lives as always. Um, but they are good. Ooh, you tried the super goop sunscreen, the glowy one or the unseen sunscreen. I've tried both. I like them. Those are, the, I really wanted the e.l.f. sunscreen, the new Wogo one to replace the Super Goop one, but I keep having trouble with that one pilling. So yeah, sunscreen is definitely a tricky one for under makeup at least. I will definitely do one with that nude dress eyeshadow. I'm glad you reminded me about it. I actually just saw it earlier today when I was putting some stuff away and I thought, oh my gosh, I need to use that. The unseen is the one you used, nude sticks irritated your skin. The nude stick sunscreen. I have never tried that one. That one was included on the Ulta sale a day or two ago, I think. The tinted one. They may have another one, but I, I did see the tinted one was on the sale. Yeah, I've seen a lot of you say that the e.l.f. sunscreen pills on you too. I don't, I can't figure it out because sometimes I use it and I don't have issues. And then other times I use it and it, I mean, it just pills all the way off my face. Like it looks like a mask or something. Like I'm peeling from tretinoin or something. That's how much it peels or pills. So I, I don't know what the deal is with that. Hi, Melissa. Hi. What sunscreen do you like that doesn't pill? I love this one. Beauty of Joseon, SPF 50. This is, it's like $10. I have yet to use this and have any issue with any product. It's so good. This one, probably my favorite one, honestly, if I had to pick one. can make sunscreen. I've never heard of that brand. Where can you get that? Yep, the nude sticks. I That one comes in like four or five shades, I think. I think that's what I saw. And it made your skin itch. That's sad. Ooh, the retinol eye cream. Becky, I saw when I was on Amazon a few days ago, I saw when I was, I think I was just scrolling at the top and you know how it'll like recommend products for you. That was one of the products that was recommended, that eye cream. I need to try that. I just got this. Look at this, you guys. This is one of the Maybelline single shadows. I got this because of Jessica Braun as I do, I buy so many things that she recommends, but she was talking about this color in nude glow. It's like a, it's like a metallic neutral color. And I'm just obsessed with it. I don't, it's nothing special, 
but I don't know something about it. Just like applying it on your lid with your finger just to throw something on. I'm obsessed with it. And I think these have been around for ever and ever. Shade Nude Glow. Oh, can make mermaid skin. Japanese sunscreen. Oh, you can get it from Amazon. That is, I need to write that down actually on my phone so I don't forget because that sounds really good. Can make. And Thelios is the best SPF. Is that um, a La Roche Posay sunscreen, the Anthelios, or is that a brand? I feel like I've seen that in a La Roche Posay sunscreen. I agree. I love this um, eyeshadow. It's like four dollars. Okay, yeah, La Roche Posay. That's what I thought. I've seen a lot of people really like that one. I've never tried one of their sunscreens before. You like Wander Beauty, First Aid Beauty, and Biosan Sunscreen. I haven't tried any of those, so that's good to know. Do you like Kaja Beauty? Yes. The only thing that I've tried from them, though, is one of the bento boxes. One of I think mine is called Chocolate Dahlia. I love that, but that's the only thing I've tried. What else from them is good? Okay, a lot of you are using Anthelios. I guess I need to try that one. Canmake has three colors, clear, white, and green. Interesting. Oh my gosh, you live in Australia. Do you watch um, Martina Lilly? She's in Australia, I think. I love her. I watch her all the time. And I love her Australian accent. I think it's so just the prettiest thing. I could listen to her talk all day. <laughs> you have both sunscreens in your Amazon cart. Me too. I'm adding them as soon as I get off this live. Oh, you love Martina too. Yes, she is. She just seems like the sweetest person. Love her. Are you guys excited for the Sephora sale? And if so, what's on your wish list? Gosh, everybody has tried can make except me, apparently. I've never heard of that.
Elta MD UV Clear. I've used that one. I like that one. I've used the um, tinted version of that too. I didn't love the tinted one as much as the um, clear one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Elta MD uh, tinted one. I actually got the Elastin one. The I don't know what I did with it. I thought I had it right here, but um, that one, I love the formula, but it's so dark. It's tinted and it's almost too tinted. It needs, they need to make more shades in it. It's very, um, it looks a little bit orangey on me. The only time I could really wear it is if I have a tan, which is not often. So I've been trying that one, but it's a little bit dark. Hi, Erica. You're in Canada. I've never been to Canada. Thank you for tuning in. The Sephora sale starts on April 14th, if you're Rouge. And then I want to say it starts on like the 17th for VIB. And then like the 20th for... Um, Beauty Insiders, I think. Ooh, you like the Milani SPF? Okay, I've never tried that one. Is that the one in the yellow tube? I think they usually have it like with the primers. Oh, you mix elastin with the R and R. What's R and R? Have you tried Kaja Beauty Bento eyeshadows? Yes, I have. I only have one. I have Chocolate Dahlia. It's one of the neutral ones because I always pick the neutral ones. Um, but yes, those are really nice. I love those. I've been trying this new Maybelline mascara. Have you guys seen this one? It's the Falsies Surreal. I think this just came out, but I've really been liking it. It hasn't been smudging on me or anything. So I've been liking using this. I've been trying to use, force myself to use something other than the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. Ooh, when do the new shades of blush? Okay, they come out on the 30th of the month. I even put it on my <laughs> calendar because I know those are going to sell out the first day. It, honestly, they're going to sell out before the day even ends, I would assume. So I'm going to try to order them as soon as they are available. But they, they both look really pretty. I just know people are going to go crazy for those. Yes, the yellow tube. That's what I thought. SPF, BFF. I think I've seen somebody talk about that. I think it's Jessica Braun, maybe. I've never tried that one. Ooh, you got the Too Faced Skin Tint. Have you tried it yet? Do you like it? I saw... Where do you even buy that? Is that on Sephora or Ulta? I saw that like sneak peek on Instagram, but I never, I feel like I haven't seen it on Ulta or Sephora's website. Oh, unrefined R&R &R SPF at Target or Ulta. Angie Hot and Flashy likes it. Okay. I'm not familiar with that one.
Oh, you didn't like this mascara? I like it. You like the primer one. You mean this one? The um, Sky High Primer? Yes, Becky, the Lash and Roll lasts a few months. I know this because I still am using the same, the original one that I got. And today I was using it earlier and I was thinking, yeah, it's probably about time for this one to go away. But yes, they last for a while. I've been using this one since it came out. So yeah, they definitely do. Have I tried Got To Be Glue for brows? Yes, I have. I actually bought the, I have the original tube of it and I've tried that, but I also got the new brow one, the one that's in the actual brow packaging with the spoolie and everything. Yes, and it works, but you cannot touch or move your eyebrows after you put that stuff in. So you have to make sure when you apply it, you get your brows exactly how you want it because you cannot move them. You cannot brush through them. In fact, it's really hard to get off. I've had to like add more of my cleansing balm to my eyebrows <laughs> to get it off at night when I use that. So I only use that when I like really, really need my brows to stay in place and I don't that often. But yes, I have tried it. Hi, Tammy. I'm glad you could make it. Ooh, Ulta Online just got the Too Faced today. I haven't seen that. Hello from Portugal. Wow. Sorry for being late. Thank you for uh, coming and hanging out. I have so much stuff on my table. I don't know where anything is. Um, what is your favorite bronzer at Sephora? Oh my gosh. That is a very hard question. Favorite bronzer. Oh, uh, why is that so difficult for me to answer? Okay. Um, I love the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. That's like one of my all-time favorite products. But, oh, you no, you know what my favorite thing right now is? Is that freaking Westman Atelier, the biscuit color. That one is honestly probably my favorite right now. Trish, my lashes, it's that lilac stuff, I'm telling you. Actually, I just today got a, like an affiliate code or link or something for lilac. I think you would message me or you asked me somewhere about what I was using on my lashes. It's lilac. I'll put it um, after this live, I'll put it in the description box. Yeah, the Sky High Primer, I feel like it looks just like a normal mascara when I use it. I can definitely see how people would wear it alone without anything over the top. You need a good cream bronzer for mature dry skin. Have you tried the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer? It's not a super opaque bronzer, but it's so hydrating and just 
you cannot mess it up. I even bought that for my mom because she's intimidated by cream products. <laughs> so I bought her the skin enhancer and she still won't use it. But um, she has more mature skin and I think that's a really good one. Ooh, the Jones Road bronzer. Rachel, I didn't know you were on here. Um, it's amazing, but there's hardly any product in it. I've seen several people on YouTube mention that they got that bronzer and loved it and they've like already hit pan on it. It hasn't even been out for that long. I kind of want to try that. They actually um, messaged me earlier today, somebody from Jones Road, and asked if they could send me a few things. I don't think that was one of the things they were going to send, which kind of makes me sad because I really want to try that bronzer. Your favorite bronzer is the Westman Atelier. Yes, that's how I feel too. The cream bronzer. I haven't tried the powder bronzer. You were going to buy the Gucci bronzer, but you could watch my review first. Decided not to. Here's the thing about the Gucci bronzer, which... First of all, I don't even think I've told you guys this, but I rebought the Gucci bronzer. Yes, I rebought it. Even after I said it wasn't worth it and I regretted buying it, I proceeded to buy it in shade one. I like it more in shade one. I think the shade is key with that one, but that's a hard one. I don't know that it's so expensive. I just don't know. I feel like I like my Westman Atelier cream bronzer much more than that. And it's expensive, but not as expensive as that one. What is your favorite makeup brand? Oh my gosh. Mm, I had to pick one. Probably, I don't know that I could pick one. Probably NARS because I like them. I like pretty much all of their products, but you know, I also, I also love Patrick Ta. I love that brand so much. So either NARS or Patrick Ta. Yeah, I saw someone talking about those milk mini bronzers and how they actually have more product in there than you think is there. <laughs> yeah, the Westman Atelier. I don't even want to know how little product is in that mini because that's going to make me really sad. It's uh, I think the mini was like twenty five dollars still and it's tiny. It's it's mini. Okay, if you need foolproof, you should try that uh, Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. Are you still loving Laguna? Yes, the cream bronzer. See, that's another good cream bronzer. Yes, I love Laguna also. <sighs> There's so many good cream bronzers. But yes, I like that one too. You've already almost hit pan too. Yeah, I've seen, I'm trying to think, who was I watching? Oh, I know it was Lauren May Beauty. I watched one of her videos the other day and she was talking about products that she either has hit pan on or she is like close to hitting pan on. And that was one of them. She had already hit pan on it. And that bronzer, I think that's only been out for like less than six months. Yes, I do like the Laguna bronzer. It is a thicker formula. It's kind of kind of like a putty formula almost, but it blends out really well. In fact, 
The brush I really like is this one to use with that bronzer in particular is this Haley Beauties one. You just don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of product. And I usually kind of dip into it and then kind of tap it off on my hand and blend it or put it on that way. And that works really well. See, yeah, the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. That's another really good one. That one is similar to the NARS bronzer, I feel like. Yes, Trish, you do need the lash serum. I'm not going to lie. It works. You bought a Westman Atelier blush last night. Which one did you buy? What color? I have Petal and Poppet, and I love them both. You like the Rim Beauty Concealer in a tan shade. That's interesting. I've never tried the Rim Beauty Concealer before. Is it similar to NARS Soft Matte? Have you tried that concealer? That's my favorite. Well, that's one of my favorite concealers of all time, but I haven't tried. I haven't tried much from Rim Beauty. Oh, you've only had it about a month? That is crazy. And you've already hit pan or close to it. I wonder what the, like, how much product is in there? Because I, I mean, it looks like a standard powder bronzer, but there must be like <laughs> way less than average in there. Oh, you're going to get the new... Too Faced palette. I think it's called Italian, Italian Spritz. I think that's what it's called. You're welcome. Yeah. You, uh, trust me on the makeup by Mario. I think you will like it. If you want something really easy, it is, it, you can't mess it up. I promise. I love NARS too. 5.7 grams. Yeah, that's not very much. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, you can't find your shade. There's 60 shades in that. I knew, well, I guess I did know there were 60 shades in that, um, but that's crazy. You can't find your shade out of 60. Have you tried other things from Rim Beauty? The only thing I really have from them that I love is the liquid shadows. I like those a lot. Hi, Sandra. Normal is about eight to nine grams. Oh my gosh. So that's, that's crazy. That's almost half of what is normal. And that bronzer is pretty expensive, isn't it? Isn't isn't that bronzer like forty dollars? The Makeup Revolution cream bronzer is kind of yellow on you. Yeah, it's definitely a pretty warm bronzer. That one is so pigmented too. You have to apply like very, very little. And if you, but if you over apply that one, it is kind of easy to blend out because it's so thin, but it's very, very pigmented. My favorite lip liner at the moment is the one that I just used. This one, this Essence 8 Hour Matte Comfort Lip Liner in Rosy Nude, number four. Love this. It's like $4, I think. And it lasts. They're not kidding when they say this lasts eight hours and it's waterproof. It truly does last. 
on my lips. That's my favorite. Um, and then let's see what there was another one I was using the other day that I love. I love Pat McGrath structure. That's another lip liner favorite. Oh, I'm glad you were able to catch me live. Thank you for tuning in. Oh my gosh, you paid 60 Canadian dollars. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. You want the Chanel cream bronzer. Do you recommend it? Yes. So the Chanel, I have the dark one, like the darkest shade and the original shade. Uh, now, now there's a medium shade that I kind of want to try. I don't really know how it compares to the dark and the light one. But yes, that one is, that one's pretty user friendly too. I feel like that one's really hard to mess up. Um, and you get a lot of product in there that lasts for a long time. So yes, I do recommend that one. They do. I know a lot of people were not happy. They added coconut oil or something to the formula. They did something to the formula about a year or two ago. And a lot of people didn't like it. I have tried both formulas and I liked both. So yes, I do recommend it. Well, I have started getting more PR, Becky, um, not as much as I would like to get, but yes, I have started getting more. I actually just got a few days ago. I posted it. I posted a picture of it on my Instagram story. I got a box of makeup from Surat Beauty, which I don't know how they even found me. I have no idea how I got on their radar, but they sent me a whole box, like a almost everything that they make. And I haven't, I haven't used any of it yet, but I was so excited when that came. Um, but I kind of go through waves where I get a lot of stuff and then I won't get stuff for a while and then I'll get it again. Um, but I'm definitely starting to get more. I honestly get a lot of skincare stuff or I, actually I turn down a lot of skincare stuff. I get a lot of people emailing me, asking me about skincare and I'm just really picky about that. So I almost always don't accept the skincare unless it's something I really want to try, but I am starting to get more makeup, which is what I really want to get. So hopefully I'll get more as I grow. I love the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. I was just recommending that to somebody. I love that. I have mine right here on my table. I use it all the time. I have very dry skin. You use Laguna Cream Bronzer. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll tell you which cream bronzer is easiest to blend, in my opinion, and it's not even one that we've talked about this whole time. It's the Rare Beauty cream bronzer. Have you tried that one, the one in the stick? I have never tried a cream bronzer that blends like that one. It's just, it's kind of like a velvety texture. Um, it's very unique. I like that one a lot. It's just a lot more pigmented than like the makeup by Mario skin enhancer. But I honestly think that one is probably one of the easiest I've ever used to blend. Do I plan to try the La Mercier foundation or the terracotta by Guerlain? Okay. So the La Mercier foundation, I have been in Sephora numerous times and played with this, the um, testers of that one. And I'm just for not that doesn't make sense. I am not drawn to that foundation for some reason. It felt kind of strange to me on my skin. It felt very thin and almost a little bit drying feeling, but that was just based on putting it on the back of my hand. So I don't know. I don't try a whole lot from Laura Mercier, but I also kind of want to try it just because I love to try foundations. And the one from Guerlain, um, Possibly. I would never say never to a foundation because I love to try them. 
Yes, the original Chanel is very warm. That's definitely true. I prefer that one more in the summertime because, yeah, it is, it's pretty warm. The skin enhancer. Oh, it makes you look shiny. Yeah, I can see that because it's so creamy. Um, I normally set that with some type of matte bronzer when I use it. But yeah, it's very, very creamy. Merit bronzer stick. That one is good. That one is super sheer. I feel like you don't get much co color with that one at all. I feel like it's similar to the Makeup by Mario in that way, but I always reach for the Makeup by Mario one over that one. Oh no, your sound is cutting out, I'm sorry. Let's see. Okay, do I like the new shade of Rare Beauty? Yes, I bought the new one in, Gosh, now I can't think of it. Is it Bright Side? I think is the new color. Hold on and I'll tell you. Yes, it's Bright Side. So bright, I had Happy Soul first. I liked that one, but it's very warm. The Bright Side shade is much cooler. It's not like gray cool, but it's more neutral. So yes, I really like that one. I just got that like not even a week ago. I like the Makeup by Mario foundation. I don't love it. I kind of feel the same way about that one that I feel about the Say foundation. I think it's not bad, but I don't love it. That one is very, uh, very shiny, very, very dewy, and it's a pretty thick consistency. Um, and I usually mix two shades also when I use that one. I like it, but it's it's not up there with like my tip top foundations. Yes, the Essence lip liners are great. I wanna get another color. Yeah, the new Rare Beauty shades, you will love them. They're really good. You return the Laura Mercier because the coverage is so sheer. I was, is that supposed to be a sheer coverage foundation? I don't know why I was thinking that one was supposed to be like a buildable medium coverage. I haven't really seen that many reviews on that one. You like, oh, you like the Physicians Formula Liquid Bronzer. I wish it came in deeper shades. Yeah. Didn't they just release one shade of that? Are you talking about the brand new liquid bronzer that just came out? I don't, Physicians Formula does that all the time with their stuff. They release like one or two shades and that's it. They never <laughs> expand. I've never understood that about them. Revlon, Colorstay are great, no budge. Lip liners. I don't think I've tried the Revlon lip liners. I've tried the glosses and the lipsticks, but not the liners. Thank you, Tiffany. Yes, I do use Lash Serum. I use Lilash. Um, I will, after this live, I'll put the link in the description of this live video because I just got like an actual affiliate link and a discount code and everything because people, I get so many questions now about my lashes and I never have had like a discount code to give you, but I do now. I think it's pretty sure it's Blair 20, but I'll put, I'll link it below when I get off this live.
Oh, yeah. they say it's medium coverage, but you have to use five pumps. Yeah. I, the texture of it felt really weird to me when I was in store and I pumped it out. So I don't know about that one. Yeah, you can build it up, but it seemed drying. It felt kind of drying on my hand when I was um, in the store. Revlon lip liner in nude. Yeah, I need to look into those. I have not really, I don't think I've ever looked at the Revlon lip liners. <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't think my lashes are going to grow any more than they are now. I will probably keep using the serum just to keep up the results. Cause that's the thing. If you stop using the serum, you don't keep the long lashes. They will fall out and they won't grow back like they were before. They will grow back, but not as long as they were before. So typically now that I've gotten them pretty long, I don't do the serum every night. I do it like either every other night, sometimes every two nights, um, just to kind of keep them long. But now I'm addicted to having longer lashes. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop it now. You never tried Rare Beauty. E yes, I have many suggestions. The liquid blushes are amazing. The bronzer stick is amazing. The, uh, what else? From the, oh, the mascara. That mascara is so good. If you haven't tried that, you need to. That one's really, the only thing is I wish it came in brown. It only comes in black, but uh, the mascara is very good too. How do you think the say foundation would be for combo oily skin? Okay. <sighs> I've seen some people reviewing it with oilier skin that say they like it. I feel like it would be way too glowy for somebody with oily skin. That's just me. Maybe if you powder it really, really well, it would be okay. But I probably would not recommend it for somebody with combo oily skin. I need to try Revlon Color Stay, the original. Uh, I think I've tried it, but I mean, it's been years. I need to get that again and try it. I just love that Illuminance one. The Sephora, yes, the sale is starting on the 14th. Yes, you bet I will do a recommendations video um, and a wish list for sure. I will definitely do that. Oh, I love the Rare Beauty Blush in Hope. Love that one so much. Actually, Hope is really pretty mixed. Well, any of them are really pretty mixed. But if you mix it with any type of liquid highlight, that color in particular is really pretty with that. I don't think I've tried exhibitionist from CoverGirl. I don't think, I think the only CoverGirl mascara I've tried is the one in the orange tube that I can't think the name, I can't think of the name right now, but I think that's the only CoverGirl mascara that I've tried. I think they did reformulate the Revlon foundation uh, I don't know. Maybe Rachel will know if they did or if it's better. I think they did, though. Oh, come on. I was wondering if you were on here. Thank you for watching. I miss you. I hope you're feeling okay. Uh, 
Oh, you, Melissa, you probably meant the mascara was reformulated. I was thinking you were talking about the um, Revlon mascara or the CoverGirl or no, the Revlon foundation. I don't know about the CoverGirl mascara being reformulated, but it's possible. Any new skincare that you've added? I've added something back that I quit using for a few months because I ran out of it. It's the COSRX Snail Mucin. I used up a whole bottle of that and then I didn't rebuy it because I just I had a bunch of other things that I was trying to use up. I bought that again and that I will never not use that again. That is the best hydrating product. I, if you never tried snail mucin, I know it sounds gross, but I swear it, it is amazing. You have, oh my gosh. Yes. I do have the prettiest grandmother ever. You are exactly right. And the sweetest one too. I wish you could all meet her in real life. Cause she is, she is no one else like her. In the whole world. Is there an essence that I recommend? Um, uh, I don't, the only essence type product I use is, and I don't even know if it's considered an essence, is the Laneige, what is it called? The Laneige product is liquid and they say it's supposed to like tone and moisturize all in one. I use that a lot and I really like it. Um, and then this isn't really an essence, but I use the Paula's Choice BHA a few times a week and I love that. Revlon is in bank. Yeah, they are. They did file for bankruptcy. I think they just filed for chapter 11, though. So I think they're just restructuring, maybe. Do, oh, the milk makeup blushes. I have not noticed them breaking me out, but I only have one and I don't use it that often. So I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I'm not really sure about that. I, I don't really have acne prone skin, so I don't find that I break out from products that much. Um, but if that's happening to you, you should probably try a brand that's, um, I don't know, considered clean maybe, although I don't know that that really means anything, but I'm not sure about the milk blushes. Yes, the new Essence blushes are amazing. The cream ones and the stick form and the powder ones. I love them both. Yes, Snail Mucin is so good. I thought at first this is one of those really hyped products that probably isn't that great, but it I was wrong. It is so good. When is your mom going to be on your channel? Becky, if only I knew. Every time she comes here, we have this conversation. Every time. I would literally give my right arm for her to be on, on the channel. But she is just, Mom, I hope you're listening. The people want to see you. And it's crazy, too. If you guys saw my mother, you'd be like, why in the world is she not putting herself on the YouTube channel like on the regular? But she she she's very, very private. What did I do to my hair? Um, You know what? I really don't know what she did to it. I I had it dark for a while and I was kind of over it. She. I don't know. She just kind of toned the pieces that I had and added a little bit more and just made them brighter. Um, she kind of did a neutral honey color to kind of blend with my natural color. I don't really know what she does. I just kind of show her pictures and let her 
um, do whatever she thinks is best. Have you tried the Cosrx snail cream or the essence? I have both. I have the cream and the essence and I love them both. The cream is thicker. So I usually use that one at night and then I use the essence in the morning, but I love them both. And yeah, there is a snail mucin eye cream. I have never tried the eye cream, but yes, there is an essence and a cream, like a thicker cream that you can use. Uh, I usually use it at night. Yeah, I use the essence the most of the two, but I like the cream too. Yes, hashtag save Revlon. Yes, that snail mucin. I cannot, I was actually hoping it was going to be on the Ulta sale this year because I think, I think it was last year they put the Ulta or they put the snail mucin on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but I don't think they did it this time, sadly. Good jeans, lactic acid. That one's from Sunday Riley, right? I've never tried that before. Vichy is great. Mineral 89. I have never tried that, but I have heard really great things about it. Yes, the NARS light reflecting is very lightweight. It is holy grail status. Love that one. Thank you. Hi, Erica. I will absolutely tell my mom. You want to see, she's, I think she's on here. So I know she's reading these comments. <laughs> yeah, I need to try the eye cream from the snail, the snail mucin. It's so funny to say snail mucin and like rave about putting that on your face, but it is, it's life-changing. Okay, you guys, I am going to go because I know my husband is ready to eat dinner and he's probably thinking, okay, Blair, stop talking. I'm hungry, so I'm going to go, but thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really like to do these. I need to do them more often, and I'll try to give you more, more notice next time. I think I only told you like two days ahead of time this time, but I'll start doing that earlier so you can try to plan ahead. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will, uh, after I eat dinner, I'll come back and put the link to the last serum in this description box that I was talking about, but thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me. Hope you have a great rest of your evening and week, and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Oh, I will link the hoops too, Carla. I'll add that. Just give me a few minutes and I'll add it. Thank you. Bye.